Hey, so remember when I said that I wouldn't complete Plague Knights mode? Because I don't feel like beating the entirety of a Plague Knights a story right now to unlock his challenges. I lied. <laughs> Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome back to more of Shovel Knight, tre well, the Treasure Trove, but Shovel Knight Challenge Mode. Uh, before we go to the actual challenge menu, I just wanted to show you that for completing challenges with one character, you get that little coin in the upper left hand corner. So I assume we'll have a coin for each of the four protagonists, quote unquote protagonists up there. But now that we're at this point, let's go and see what Plague Knight has available or in store for us. Quickly bomb burst from ladder to ladder. Okay. Now, now I had just finished playing this recently. Excuse me. I had just finished playing this recently. Oh dang it! I had just finished playing. I I had just finished playing this uh, recently, like within the last week or so. So I have plenty of practice under my belt for playing as Plague Knight. I unfortunately feel like the mo most of my issue is going to come up when I get uh, Specter Knight. Dang it! I say that and then I pr proceed to fail at how to. I just realized what I'm doing wrong. I'm pressing B to dump off a ladder. I think I can burst from a ladder. Yes, I can. Okay. Mystery solved, Scooby-Doo. As I proceed to do it the wrong way anyway. Okay, don't know if that was supposed to be the intended method, but that's how I'm doing it. Also, definitely when I do something like this, I don't, uh... I don't, you know, go into a place like this without something to help me burst through and there's the end. Damn it. There we go. Next try. But yeah, I have learned like the pacing of which I want to do these videos. So it's basically I'm gonna do if I didn't say it before, and I probably repeat myself, I'm basically gonna do a third of these levels per video. I may front load I may front load them as well, so. Collect all the treasures before the clock counts down. Okay. Okay. They really just expect me to kind of just keep going super fast, don't they? Okay, I really hope that... I didn't see what the goal amount was, by the way. I do have some life I can waste here, but I don't want to waste it all. Yeah, God. I like how I'm passing up the big gems. God damn. Okay, hold on. Can I actually see what the limit is or no? Of course, I won't say what the limit is. <clears throat> so I'm gonna, just going to assume it 1900. It's right, it was right there. I guess prioritize big gems over small gems at this point. And that's just a restart at this point.
Okay. So you don't need to give every single gem, but a lot of them do help. Holy cow, that's that's a rough one. That's a really rough one. Okay. So let's never do that again. But let's see Flea Flight. Collect all treasure, but don't stop. Oh, I see. Dang it. Okay, yeah, you do just run through it. Okay, let me start that over again. I've only used the fleet the fleet flask in one particular challenge, so I forgot that it, so I forgot that it just didn't let you run through stuff. Or the fact that you could probably, you know, bonk off stuff too. This is this one's gonna be more or less like a This is gonna be a challenge about just memorizing uh, movement options. Right, you can't land on spikes while fleet flasking. Need to remember this. I hope that wasn't enough to screw me over. I don't know if I've got if I've got it. Oh, that was it. I got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. On that very first area, totally flying by the seat of my pants. No idea what was even going on. All right. So let's go through. Brave battles rain and what? Um. Okay, oh. I have a loadout. I have I had a loadout that I wasn't afraid of. Holy cow, you t I can tear through stuff, but oh man, I am not ready for it. Just beware of anything that's like two blocks or less. Okay. I think I'm gonna like this one, because it's all about movement. It's all about the sh movement, baby. Later, nerd. Okay, I have to be careful with this one. Have fun with that look inside right, you can't get back to me. Alright, I can't be hit over here. Wait. I never play with this combination of bombs. What's going on here? It's like they seek out the next nearest platform or something. Dump. Go go down. That's not solid. Don't lie to me, that's not solid. Jesus. The overhangs do not make me feel at ease. This is probably a bad idea to go up here, but I'm going up here anyway. What are these grenades? I don't know what these grenades are, but I love them. They're impact fuses! I just realized they're impact fuses! Oh my gosh. Those are creative bombs. They're satellite electric... Electric... Um... I don't know what it's called. Electric casing or so, no, electric fuse or electric powder, but they're with impact. So when they hit anything, they turn into the satellite mode. That's so awesome. Okay, defeat all enemies while hopping from missiles to missile. Hmm. No time, but I do have to.
No time, but I do have to do this thing. Okay, hold on. Can I... Now that I'm not on a timer, can I at least see what my loadout is? Cluster powder. Quick fuse. And... Okay, it's basic burst. That's all I need to see. Listen, I will... I will run some risks here. Seeing as I at least know what my grenade is. I say that and then immediately get bopped. Case in point. Just remember, you can go back. Uh, well, not that far back. Okay. Just gotta get our timing down. That's all there is to it at this point. Because we can make these jumps. I do like these guide rails in the background, but something I kind of wish is they would only launch things at a specific angle. Or something I wish is they would only launch missiles at very specific points, if that makes sense. Because some of these points... Some of these locations, or some of these spots, the missiles, like, you can double jump and you get up there fine. Other spots, you double jump and the missile hits you right in the face. And the missiles themselves deal full hard damage, so... That's what... That's probably the worst part about that one. Anyway. Pitch them and switch them. Use the flip... Oh! I played around with the flow casing, okay. So doing it like that won't really work, but if you pitch it way down, back up and hit it way down, you can hit it just fine. So throw it from here. Never mind. Kind of worked. I don't like what they're putting forth on that one there. I that's I was so quiet because they just sat there for me looking like like how do. Okay. But see what they want me to do. So throw it like that. Uh, kind of like that. And then they want me to throw. My burst wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for it. They want me to throw it backwards and either double jump or burst. Or they want me to hold my burst in like that. So they want me to throw, hold, burst. So that's basically what's going on here. So throw. Yeah, kind of like that. All right. So, just don't be dumb, just take your time at points. I say take your time, and then I remember, and then I forget, oh yeah, switches aren't solid. Okay, so this one, I see what we do. I see what they want me to do with a lot of these. It's a smart puzzle, but man, does it really put me on edge. Okay, so I have to find the right angle. That's not it. Is it this block? It that was the right block, but I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't ready for everything to switch over in time.
Okay, so again, from the third block. Okay, I thought it was from the third block-ish. Okay, so now we throw it from here. Damn it, it's from the very edge, so... Throw, jump. Oh wow, I didn't even need to hold the burst for that one. So where's the change that's gonna make me have to do it on the, really quick on the fly? I think that's it right there. It's fine. Oh, yeah, this one's gonna have to do it on the fly, so throw. Almost. I just have to get the spacing. Here. No, it's way, it's way forward. Hey, that's a company name. There we go, that's the spot. Now don't make me do it again. Oh. It's okay, it's fine. Just gotta... Hmm. No, there's a puzzle here, I'm not getting... Oh god, do they want me to burst? Yeah, they wanted me to burst. A little frightening, but still not terrible. That, we, have ter we have not hit terrible categories yet. <sighs> I'm waiting for those moments, by the way. We're gonna hit terrible categories like we do with Shovel Knight, and yeah. Alright, and then the last one for today, which if I'm doing my math right, you know. Well, no, I'm not doing No, no, we are not near our last one for today. I forgot how to do my math. So we had a couple more left to do, so Grave Robber. Grab all the gems using only your Spin Bomb Burst. No time limit? Good. Ah, okay. That mechanic from, uh... Hold on. I'm trying to burst into you so I can have a little more room to breathe. We're not going to worry about those. We're just going to worry about spin bomb bursting. There. I just want I just need room to breathe on this one. That's all I need on this map. Just a little room to breathe, a little bit of room to think. See, this is kind of a clever idea that I wish they would that I kind of wish they did a little bit more with these. Just like then again, shovel knight, you can only do so much. Oh, whoops. Would you believe if I told you that was completely accidental? Probably wouldn't. Okay, I'm on your tricks, and I have time on my side. I don't have to go fast, which is a good thing you made this one not go fast. I'm really thankful you made this one not go fast. I see that one there. I will grab it. And burst down, burst over. I also have like innately like it in my, a clock in my head. This one and done. Hell yeah. First try. First try. See, you can have the challenge you whatever you want. Just, you can have the challenge you whatever you want. As long as it is fair. Again, if a challenge is fair, then fine. If a challenge is not fair, then you put a time limit back on stuff. So what are my bombs? Good enough. As I proceed to goof up the first jump. Uh, wait, I was on a platform. Okay. Hold on, I got an idea. There. I'll get it eventually, and one of these times. Also, have to remember that your burst is a close range of is close range damage too. Also, how is this? Oh. Huh. Well, I see the challenge. There. I was just about to say. So where is the challenge? And then it presented itself with the uh, long lasting explosion.
Okay. I've been here once before, but I need to get a little bit focused on what I was doing, so I had to be a little silent. Okay. You're going to be a pro... Why is it perfectly spaced? Don't like that. Have fun with that. At least it makes sure that all the enemies die in one grenade, effectively. Oh god, I was worried about three screens. Tell me this is the last screen. God damn it. Spike it in. Spike it in. Don't care. Done. Whew, with barely any time left to spare. Hachi mama. Okay. Well, I was, uh... Here I am, getting full of myself, and then that happened. Okay, peacetime climb. We between gears and chasm. Okay, I see what's going on. This is like the shovel knight variant, except I have to bait these attacks out even sooner. Why do not let me jump off? So I can't burst bomb. I can't throw bombs. All I have is my double jump at my disposal. Just a bunch of bobbing and weaving, damn it. Okay, under floor two. So what else is here? I'm gonna wait. Okay, they shoot. That guy shoots primarily up. And I'm gonna primarily jump into it. Okay. Okay, what's your pattern? I need to see your pattern here. Right? That you do too. I need to remember this. Okay. Getting up above you. Actually, this is the time to break away. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Okay. All right, this one's not as this one's not as bad as the shovel knight variant, where basically you couldn't deal any damage to enemies at all. Whew! Well, look at that. <laughs> that that was all right, man. At least challenges are crafted in such a way where it does feel great to finally beat them when you do beat them. But anyway, now that I can do math for a change, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Shovel Knight Challenge Mode, and come back next time when we'll begin. Well, we'll do the last probably. Guessing? Yep. We'll do the last of the platforming challenges, and then we're going to start moving on to rematching everybody and their mother. This basically means trying to beat them all with a with with a sponge with a sponge of a character with 30 seconds per paddle. It'll be great. I'll see you folks next time. Take care.